You'll have to put up with my terrible accent for a minute. Uh, I've written something out. Wohen Ron Sing, Lai Dao, Zhong Gao, Yu Nin, Jian Tan, Zhong Go, Shi Dong Fang, Wen Ming, T U N D, D Feng, Bing Ti. I write better than I speak. So my accent sucks. Zai Chu, Go Chu, Di Shu Tian, Nian Zong, Yi Zhe, Yin Ling Zhe, Hu Bi, Ling Yu, Di Chuan Sing, Jin Tian, Wu Han Gao Sing, Xian Ni, Zi Xiao, B T, B D, Zhe Shi, Woman Dao Shi, Zhong Gao Men Ren. So eventually my accent will actually get so that people can understand me. Um, but one of the things I'm going to start doing, I'm going to actually start practicing my writing and, and much more. I've been uh, trying to learn Chinese for a while. Um, so one of the things, apart from my English blog, I'm, I'm actually going to start writing myself in, in Chinese next year um, and see how I go and see how much of a fool I make out of myself. But we'll give it a try anyway. So I'm going to talk about Bitcoin and what we can really do about it. So we want a system of micropayments. People in this industry at the moment think Bitcoin is all about trading and just making money from holding it. Coin go up. Coin go up is a bad way of looking at things. I've been in this industry for a long time. I started back in the 1990s. Peer-to-peer -peer networks were actually around in the 90s. Cryptocurrency was around in the 90s. The problem is there are some problems that couldn't be solved. So lots of things like Mojo Nation, um, BB Pay, MicroMint all tried this. The one thing they needed was micropayments. Micropayments are the key to making an internet that works, one that is not based on advertising, one where Facebook and Google and all these other companies don't sell your life because that's what they do. To track you, to monitor you, they have to own you. They control every aspect of your privacy and they sell you and they give you very little in return. We want to change that. We want to give you a system that you can build a new future on. The promise of the internet when I was young, the problem we have now is we're not getting the internet we were promised. We're not getting a distributed system where people own their own information and data. Why? Because no one has micropayments. One of the main reasons I created Bitcoin was because we can have very, very small payments. Right now we're seeing payments well under a cent, a twentieth of a cent or less. And that's too large. I want to see it many times smaller than that so that people can build new things. If we want Internet of Things devices that are secure, that work, then we need people to have a system that allows automatic updates, that allows one source of truth, that allows us not to have to sell every move we make to Google or Facebook, that allows us to post and earn and do and create so that our children have a future that isn't owned by some mega corporation. So that every time we walk around the city, someone's not tracking us. So that every device we own, we own. So that our private lives remain our private lives. A system where we control our own data. Because when we don't, this is when breaches happen. Facebook has had data breaches. Google has had data breaches. Everyone 
has data breaches. And when there's millions or billions of users, those data breaches give every aspect of our life away. Bitcoin will allow the creation of secure networks, ones where we own our own information. So we're going to create things that will allow you to securely access, connect, and control devices. A value-based, information-based society. The economist in the past has said, data is the new oil. But I think it's better than that. Because oil, when it burns, causes problems. It makes smoke. It makes a whole lot of things that people complain about. Information is clean. The way we're doing it now, information is dirty. We want information to be owned privately by the people out there who control it, who own it, because it's theirs. And if they want to choose, they can choose what they share. So we're going to start building systems based on market forces. If you want to publish a file, one where you can choose to pay for distribution, not YouTube, but peer systems. Imagine loading a video and choosing how much you will pay for it. And the more you pay, the more bandwidth aggregators come. And if it's good and people want it, you will start earning money. And you'll earn money because there's slightly more money coming in than you're paying to the bandwidth aggregators. And that will be instant. And you won't need to worry about taxation because it will be paid instantly. So you will earn. You won't need to worry about being audited by government because they'll be off your back earning. Everyone's happy. So we want a system based on value. That's what Bitcoin was designed to be. Not digital gold. Who cares about digital gold? Dematerialization is the process of taking something like a paper record and making it electronic. I worked with the Australian Stock Exchange in 1996, and we dematerialized everything. We took the floor where people would talk, and we put it online. And we have a distributed network of brokers, and they could trade instantly, fast, and immediately. And that was a token. And that was 1996. They're not new. It allowed people to start trading for shares online. And we see that now. ICOs have no value. ICOs aren't a company. A company has value. When you create something that people want to buy, it has value. When you have a mystery share that is a promise of something, that isn't. I want to see people making companies that will last, not a promise, not something where you get money quickly and run off. I made my first $20 million when I was 29. I had a company, it was listed on the Australian Stock Exchange before I was 30. I could have retired, I could have floated around $20 million back then, 20 years ago would be 80 million to 100 million now. I won't. I could retire now. I won't. Not because I can't put up with the shit, not because I care about any of this, because we've got things to build. I took that money when I was young and I put it into gaming industries and I made more. And I took most of that and I put it into what was now Bitcoin, and I spent nearly every cent I had. Fairly much, between computers, between everything else for testing this. I went negative at one stage. 
And it's worth it, not because I have more money, but because we're creating something that will change the world. Not because it's anonymous and we hide, because we're willing to stand for what we believe in. Some people will tell you that criminals change the world. They don't. The people who change the world are those who are willing to stand up without hiding. Those who will face whatever consequences without hiding. Rosa Parks in the USA, Roger Ver says she's a criminal. She basically faced depression, got arrested, but she was not anonymous. Gandhi got arrested, was not anonymous. Mandela spent decades in prison to fight for what he believed in because he was not anonymous. When people wear masks, when they hide, when they want to be criminals, they don't change society for the better. They make fear. They make us afraid. We don't want a world where people will be afraid. If you want a better world, if you want a world where your children can be proud, where your parents can be proud, then you need to stand. You need to stand for what you believe in, not run and hide, not be in different areas where you think law enforcement can't get you, but face whatever's coming and stand firm and know that whatever storm breaks against you, you will keep standing. That's what this is about. Bitcoin is a system of truth, it's a system of honesty, and it's a system that will fight corruption because it's transparent. It will help China, not because it destroys government, but it, it destroys corruption. People who take bribes will be caught. People who hide will be caught. And all of us will find a little bit of a better world, a world we want to live in, a world we want our children to live in. Not because we want to get rich instantly, but because we can be proud to work and put effort into a life that is hard. Why a life that is hard? Because we will build something that people will remember, that people will look at years from now and say, I wish I could do that. Not because they got rich quickly, but because they struggled. There are people like Thomas Jefferson in America. He basically ended up shot, killed, fought, struggled. And people say, that's a life to be proud of, but I wouldn't want to do it. Well, I would, and I do. And I hope more people want to, because we want the original version of Bitcoin that I created to actually go out there and be a platform to allow you to build anything. In the next year, I'm going to start taking things more than the SDK, more than threshold signatures, more than just scaling up to many, many transactions. I'm going to start teaching you how to build what was promised on the internet decades ago. I'm going to teach you how to build real peer networks using Bitcoin. I don't want to do it myself. I don't want to be Google. I don't want to be Facebook. I don't want to be Alibaba. I don't want to be Tencent. I don't care about mega corporations. I want all of you to grab an idea, to make something that will make this a better world and run with it, to find something where 
little tiny incentives, little tiny amounts of money over and over that get replayed make everything better, that creates an internet of value, that allows people to connect, that allows people to feel safe, that allows people to know that they're proud of what they do. If you build a system designed to help drug dealers, you're not proud. If you're building a system where you have to hide, where you have to be anonymous, you can't be proud. And some people will tell you, don't be proud. I'll say, wrong. Build something that people will be proud of. Build something that your family will be proud of, that your children will be proud of. I want you to build. I want to give you the tools. I want to give you the knowledge. And I want you to go out there and create. I want you to make everything you do better. I want you to take China and make it better. I want you to deliver systems that will make money free, that will enable people to connect, to do it securely. I want you to create systems that will stop corruption. And I want you to make a system that will make your families proud that you did it. Not because you've hidden yourselves, but because you can stand and say, this is something worth doing. Thank you.